America's biggest car and truck maker just announcing they're going to be all electric by the year 2035. Now, that's going to have a lasting impact on drivers, dealers, and many people in Texas and East Texas. KTK's Frank Jefferson right now is live in front of Wagner, Cadillac, and Tyler to explain how some East Texans are reacting to the news. Frank. Yeah. Yeah, Neil, that, that's exactly right. Now, Wagner right here, they're one of 315 GM dealers here in our state. Now, the SUVs over in this section right here, they were created at an assembly plant in Arlington where they create Cadillac, Chevys, and GMCs, and there are 13 GM factories here in our state. Now, right now, GM, they have a handful of hybrid and electric vehicles. And by 2030, their fleet will have no gasoline-powered trucks, cars, or SUVs. And the electric vehicles still in the pipeline will include battery and fuel cell power models. And the company says it's important that they move forward towards a future where every vehicle they sell has zero emissions. And these Texans who make their living in the auto-related businesses, what they're saying right now is that they're not surprised by GM's move and say consumers and technicians will evolve with the times. So it won't be, really be a big problem. They'll, they'll become more electricians than mechanics. Um, but the vehicle, the other vehicle functions, the AC systems, uh, the, the seat controls, the steering controls, the fundamentals will still all be the same. We want everyone to have the opportunity to drive the vehicles we're building. And we want every community to benefit from safer, quieter, greener streets. GM says this 2035 entirely electric vehicle goal is an aspiration saying regulations, infrastructure, and other factors need to happen before that plan can be achieved. Now, for anybody who's watching right now, if they're wondering what's going to happen to the people that have the jobs at GMC right now, GMC says, not, uh, GM, I should say, says not to worry because what they're going to do is they're going to be hiring people, but they're going to have a different set of skills, and most of those skills are going to be in tech so they can expand the company in a technological way. And right now, I'm live in Tyler, Frank Jefferson, KETK News.